Hey guys, what's going on? We are back! Coming off that win in Pittsburgh, gotta love it. And now we are going to be playing, hopefully, an easier game against Indianapolis Colts, the winless Indianapolis Colts, as the Bears and them are the only two that are still winless. They have a three-star offense and a three-star defense, so I mean, I don't know why they suck so bad, but they do. They do. They continue to suck. So we got a we got another good win last last week against Pittsburgh. In Pittsburgh, now we're going to the Lucas Oil Stadium, playing the Indianapolis Colts. But first, a training ground prank by rookie Najee Olave backfired, causing a fight to break out amongst several players. This guy is just nothing but trouble. I mean, he's the type of guy that you wouldn't want your daughter to be taken home. I mean, this guy is just nothing but trouble. He's a great, great player on the field, but he's like Baker Mayfield, you know? He's got he's got the, got the video with the police. He got the video with the freaking uh, cheerleaders. I mean, this is just a bad look. I don't like this guy one bit. He is giving me vibes that he's going to be in some serious trouble before he knows it. I'm going to I'm gonna find the player. He's out of fine morale. Uh, similar to what we just gave him. Fine. And uh, I'm also going to look real quick at the training regimen. It is still normal for both. I'm going back up to hard. Uh, these guys, now that we're kind of making a playoff push in a way, I didn't expect to honestly be contending this quickly. But we need our guys to continue to develop. And we'll just rock the regular unis for everyone. And we'll hop into it right now. So see you in a minute. Indianapolis kicking off the ball as we are going to start off with it. And I am looking... Over the middle, getting sacked and almost throw a pick off the first play of the game. Uh, I'm going to go back to the run game. Hopefully we don't fumble the ball. Get to the outside and game five. Third and short. Going over the middle to John Smith who makes the catch. He has been such an underrated player for us. Gotta love when John Smith gets his hands on the football. As that's a bad pass and I put too much, too much juice on it and let the ball float in the sky like a house in a tornado. I don't know. And Coney makes a huge sack, forces Indy to kick a field goal as we are going to go back on offense, going deep to Diamond, who makes a stiff arm. Holy shit, he's going. He's gone. Can I get a hurdle? Oh, my God. Longest play of this series so far. I was not ready for that one bit. Uh, just throwing it deep, and he makes a man miss and just takes it to the outside. We needed that so bad. This offense is always just thirsty for a big play as John Smith's going to get a gain of eight, taking it inside the red zone. And Freddie Hurd running that post, and I threw it too short for Diamond. Okay, third and short. I am I could have probably made a few passes. I just want to get the first down, get out of bounds. Oh, or not. All right, EJ Diamond, good route on that comeback. Make a man miss. Taking it down to the five-yard line. Inside the five, down to the three, actually. First and goal. Quincy Mullins makes a miss. Oh, it makes two men miss. I thought he was about to get blown up, and he actually made, made a good effort. As we're going to give him a little shovel pass and just dive right in the end zone, break the plane, get in there for the score. As we're going to go up by four, they run the ball. Indy at midfield throwing it. Alfred not strong enough. Hands it off. Alfred was too slow. Alfred, Alfred, Jason, Alfred, what are you doing on defense, buddy? I feel like I'm always hearing your name and it's never anything good. Oh, it's Quincy Mullen's going to get a good, get a good hurdle there. We got a minute left. We've got time as Freddie Hurd's going to get that quick out and not catch the ball. Third and medium. I probably should have thrown that comeback. Can I make a man miss? I don't know. I don't know what I should do here. Down by three. I'm going for it. I'm just going to... I was looking to scramble the whole time. I wasn't looking downfield at all, I'll be honest. As we're going to call a timeout. I'm liking these routes if someone's going to beat their man. And they do as Diamond. Of course. Who else but EJ Diamond. Shrieking down the field. Nice post route. Gets over the top of the safety. And going to give us a huge gain. I don't have any timeouts. This shot has to be deep in the end zone. I don't know if I like that pass. I underthrew it. What am I doing? Somebody, please. Please cut him off. No, come on. Okay, thank you. God. Uh, one second left. Please just let the game be over. Huge throw. Okay, that's fine. Okay, it's like we punted. 7-10. Couldn't walk out of there with a, with a field goal, but forced a ball I probably shouldn't have. And we're going to go down by nine points to the winless Indianapolis Colts as we really need our team to get their shit together. John Smith, we need to play a very good game in the second half. Diamond streaking over the field. 
third and very short as they are playing that very close i can't get that out just need to get out of bounds with uh Najee Olave. diamond being covered by that both of those men as he's gonna get a hurdle he's still tight roping on the outside we are trying to get out of bounds every possible drive we need to get as much time conserved on this clock as we can as we are literally going to just continue to dink and dunk and ticky tack our way down the field as we're going deep to uh i don't know why i couldn't talk to herd as we are just hurry up offense all the way i don't know what that was second and long and we're going one on one to diamond who makes the catch every time i need a play i look diamond's way that is k jewelers he must have went to jared because that's a touchdown they run the ball fumble they fumbled it on the goal line and we have a chance here with three seconds left in this first or in this third quarter to uh to make a comeback here we go we could either run this clock out and kick our little field goal or the only problem with that by the way is if we fumble the ball um or we could try to score as quick as possible which diamond's giving me a good case for it as he's gonna bobble that pass around can we catch that jesus everyone's dropping the ball i gotta punt fuck mm, do i punt if they kick the extra point if they kick the extra point they go up by nine and we don't have a uh I know you're like, why would you not punt? If you if you don't get this touchdown, you lose the game. In my own eight yard line, I'm going to punt. I don't want to punt, but I'm going to punt. Houston punting it to midfield. Indy throws it over the middle. Alfred too slow. They held him to a field goal and they make it. So punting paid off as we have the ball at the 36 yard line. Two timeouts, a minute and 11 seconds left. We are going to hopefully drive this ball down the field punch it in for six as we are down right now a touchdown puts us in the lead I'm looking freddie hurd's way i'm not liking anything i'm afraid to force it because i don't want to don't want to throw a pick and lose this game i i'm trying to be as conservative while still not conceding as Mullen's going to make a huge play out of the backfield as we're going to cause a man to miss and get out of bounds. And I think Freddie Hurd's beat him. I think he beat his man and he's streaking down the sideline. I'm going to dive. I, I've i seen it before. I am not scoring this touchdown. We are going to do the Todd Gurley. We are going to sit at the goal line, try to stall as much clock as we can as Najee get into the outside, walking in the end zone. 16 seconds left. I was afraid that if I scored, 29 seconds is too long for them. But uh, someone get catch that. Okay. 16 seconds left. Indianapolis with the ball. Hail Mary throw, and there's no way. We walk out of there. That trap game almost got us. And Weston Goldman is out for a game. But more importantly, we left Indy with a win. That was so important because now jacksonville took a loss and we're in the sole driver's seat leading the way in the afc south as that was an impressive performance um gotta praise the fans on that one i would love to get them up to at least 33 percent um naji having a decent game diamond bailing us out when we needed him to as we are going to be playing jacksonville in houston these two Jacksonville games at the end of this at the end of this season are going to be so crucial for us. I will see you in the next one when we play the division rival slash trying to be leaders, uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars. So I will see you then. Goodbye.